Hey everybody, Fletcher Next here. Welcome to Stone Block 3, the finale. I think we're going to be able to finish everything remaining in this one episode. It might be long, but we'll see. Depends, uh, depends how long it's going to take our train to get all the way to the end. Uh, of course, fittingly, it gave me another stick right as I started to record. But we have everything we need. Uh, the first thing let's do is let's get this uh, tablet going. Actually, nope, we got to go get our HDPE. Let's go do that first. So set that up down here um it's pretty easy the first thing we do is we get a melon uh and you only need basically five blocks here so the melon goes in the crusher and that's going to come out as biofuel the biofuel goes into the pressurized reactant chamber yeah and this one has hydrogen and water water i just put in from a tank and the hydrogen we got from the separator uh, that converted it into the, um, whatever that stuff is, <laughs> the ethylene. Now the ethylene is being concentrated into liquid ethylene, so now it's a liquid. Make sure you use a pipe and pipe it into this one. This one needs the oxygen, which is the other half of this guy, right? We put the hydrogen over here. Oh, we can do dump, up, dump excess if we want. There we go. Um, and then, oh, I probably shouldn't dump excess on both. That would be silly. Um, so yeah, so this one got the extra oxygen, the, the liquid ethylene, and it will make me the HDPEs. If I put that substrate in there, there we go. So the substrate that came out of converting the biomass comes right back in here. Make the HDP. We only need one because they have EMC. So let's put them in here, and then we'll go get like a stack or something, and we'll make a... Uh, oops, just not not in the middle. A sheet a sheet also has EMC, so now we can get the sheets that we need. We only need twelve. Okay, now we're ready for our tablet, and we might have to end up making two of these, but whatever. Here we go. We could probably actually teach the tablet to our system and not make two. Maybe that's the case. Okay, so we're going to come in here. We're going to say, I would like a transmutation tablet, please. And I've got all the ingredients. It says you do. <laughs> One billion EMC for this tablet. Yes, go ahead. There you go. <laughs> it takes a second. Uh, so yeah, so I will just teach the tablet to the tablet. That kind of makes no sense at all. Um, and I'm going to grab two of them. Sure. And then we need to come in here. Do I have this set to extract? I don't know. What's it gonna do if I put something in there? It's gonna leave it, cool. Um, so in there, we're gonna need, um, we're doing this one. So two endus pearls, a dark matter, and a red matter. Okay, we need to go here. While we're in the singularity room, I'll just go ahead and show you that yes, it was the uh, our limiting factor was our pellets. This got down all the way to zero and I turned everything off, but see everything else is uh, doing fine. I mean, some of them are still running, so they're just producing them as fast as I use them. Um, but yeah, that was pretty good. And then in here, we've got up to 1500 of these. So I think we might need to make a few more. Um, I need two of these. And just pearls, uh, you throw them and they explode. So be careful when you're holding them in your inventory. Um, I just want to turn all of this on at once and see if it breaks. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, where's your, where's your clutch? Oh, right there. All right, last one. I don't know if I made a room to get in here. Go. All right, they should all be running now. My system's just like... <laughs> I've got like five FPS. Okay, so we don't have, um, oh, we're missing some things. So this is a weird thing um, about this uh, external storage to a, a, contain, a compacting drawer. After I log out and log in, it only remembers the main thing, which is the ingots. But if I go ahead and break this and then put it back, then it showed, then it knows the, the ingots and everything. So they're all back there. So that's weird. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to shut this down because my system is just 
the fan is on. <laughs> Everything's going bad. But that's what it looks like when everything is being crafted at once. Um, why is that one not going? Are we, are we missing something? Didn't I? Oh, I turned it on. I turned it off. Whoops. <laughs> now it's all going. At one point, this one was going faster than the meatball or the stew, so it was just limited. Whenever the stew completed one, then this would make one, and vice versa. So it didn't quite go the full 256 for the you know hour and a half it needed to run to make 1,500 of those. But yeah, that's that's everything. Um, so while I'm here, I'm gonna grab all of these. Did we get them all? Nice. <laughs> don't don't die now with all this on you, right? That would be the end. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna actually stick it all in here just in case. Okay, I'm really nervous about these endless pearls because if I accidentally right click on the wrong thing, my entire blaze would blow up. So click, click, and that should, yep, make our book of knowledge. This takes a lot of power. Wow, uh, that probably helped. Okay, where did that book of knowledge go in here? Not go in here? Or tomb of knowledge? There it is. All right, so that unlocks all. Do I right click on this or do I, I think I teach it to my system. Do I burn it? There it goes. So that taught, by burning that in a transmutation table, every single system thing in the world that has EMC is now available in my system. That's cool, which means I could put, I can drag anything out of JEI into a uh, EMC link, anything like that. So everything uh, there is good. Um, so that's project E. Oh, that opened up the next one. So I need to make the arcane transmutation tablet. Okay. I like when it opens up new quests for me. Um, that's gonna take an alchemy table, alchemical chest, two philosopher's stones and a crafting table. Uh, can I make, Oh, yeah, can I make a... One, two... Nope, don't unlearn it. I think once you've done the book, you can't unlearn anything. Um, so many things that it knows now. Crafting... Table. There it is. Uh, and a chest... I think that was it. Oh, two philosopher's stones. Just two. I'm happy with two, please. There we go. That right, completes Project D. E. Now this one is really cool. Uh, not only is it portable, but it has like a cert a better search. Um, we can craft right here with stuff. So I can just be like, oh, well, you know, to finish off um, applied logistics, all I need is a molecular assembler. Oh, does it not do that? Oh, no. I thought I could just search for stuff. It's not linked. Okay, that's probably why. But I go like this. And as long as things have EMC, it'll just use them, right? It just, it just takes them out. <laughs> so it's like, but unfortunately, there's some things that don't have molecular assembly. Oh, okay, so that was not a good... Uh, representation, but I can do this. That finishes off applied logistics. Sweet, there's another one done. Um, so we can get all of these quest rewards. Oh, yeah, an elytra out of that. I saw cool. Watch none of the super amazing um swords. I never did get one of those. Okay, so what's left? Um, let's do let's let's craft up our armor. And then we'll fight the two bosses, and then we'll go and explore on a train. Um, so I'm going to grab um, Crystal Matrix. Let's get a row of those. Uh, and I'm going to need my Neutronium. A row of that, and my Infinity Catalyst. Okay, and we'll make a bunch of ingots. Yeah, I figured neutronium was gonna be the, the hardest piece to get. But I 
I've got more sitting right here. Oops, too much. Too much. There's another 26. And I think that's all we can make. Yeah, that actually is all we can make right now. So we made 52 of those. All that work, guys, for 52 ingots. Oh, no, I got more infinite gas. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, there should be more than that, right? <laughs> I was a little confused by that. Here, what if I just grab my this guy and carry a bunch with me on my magnet? There we go. And I could automate this with another big system, but I figure I only need like a couple hundred of these, so. Why worry? It's just so long to craft these. It would probably be longer to, oh, that's why I ran out of space. What are we missing? Ooh, 34 in that batch. Okay, more matrices. Did I use up all my catalysts? Nope, still have 139 there. Okay, so just over two stacks. Nope, we have a few more we can make. Not that, that. All right, now we're done. We made 128 plus six, and we already used what, like a, a few, right? On the, uh, we used 12 more or eight more in the in the tablet. Okay, wish these had EMC, it would just be like, wait, make one, <laughs> and you're done, but that's not the case. You go back in there, you go back in there, don't need you anymore, and I've got infinity ingots, okay. Um, Let's start, I guess, with all the stuff here. So we'll get the armor first. I'm just gonna put them all on quick craft here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, um, so we're gonna need, I can get out of here now. Done that, done that, done that, okay. So we need our existing armor. Uh, we're gonna need our infinity and a bunch of neutronium as well. Is that the case for all of these? No, that one needs a catalyst. That one's the same. That one needs a few catalysts, okay. It's a good thing I didn't use all my catalysts, although we probably have a, you know, about 30 more downstairs if we really need them. Okay, oh, I'm gonna get my armor off. We can say, give me one of those. There we go. Give me one of these. Give me one of, oops, what are we missing? Oh, it needs uh, crystal matrix blocks. Okay. Our leggings, we almost used a stack of these. I hope we don't run out. I don't know, we might not have enough. I think we needed about 1,800. I think we've only got like 1,600. All right, but there is the armor. We are practically indestructible now. I think we are indestructible with these on here. Um, we go super fast. We have lots of armor. Yeah, this is very fast. Woo, okay. <laughs> um, I have turned off in the video settings the um, FOV changes for speed, so you can't tell when I'm going fast or slow. Okay, so that's all of that. Cool. Now let's get uh, recipes for these ones. I didn't. I don't have all the base ones. I don't think. Yeah, I don't have like the base axe, so we might wait on those. 
That's a weird one. Okay. So we'll definitely get the sword. Um, need four matrices. Just get a block of it and a bunch of that just in case. Oh, I don't have the sword anymore because I made the guitar. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to make another sword. So that's what it's telling me. Okay. I do have the pick. Let me do the pick. Get the world eater or something, right? World breaker. Nice. Okay. And yeah, sadly, I can't make any of the other stuff right now. Well, I could probably make the bow. We're going to need whatever these are. Wool and a heart. That one. All right. <sighs> to get a red matter sword. Oh, what I should have. No, this doesn't have EMC. I need an iron sword. So, silver's heart, dark matter diamonds. Red matter. Gonna have to employ this baby again. So that recipe and that recipe. Diamond. You. You. Okay, and then you. Red, red. All right, let's upgrade that baby. There she is, the sword of the cosmos. Beautiful. Okay. So I don't need that or that. Now let's get the axe. So diamond, diamond. Okay, I can do that. Was axe. Oh shoot! Forgot the recipe. Oh, dark matter underneath it. Red, red, go. Okay, upgrade you if we can. We're running low. We got twenty-two ingots left. Where's the plus sign? Nature's Ruin. Cool. And all we need left is the Planet Eater. Diamond Heart. Dark Matter. Red. You and you. Okay, here it is, here it is, let's do it. Oh no, what are we short? One catalyst, okay, we can do that. We can do one catalyst. <laughs> that was amazing, I was one catalyst short. That is crazy. All right, I'm gonna turn all these off because they are affecting my FPS here. I need just like one master switch with like wireless and stuff, but like, the game's ending, right? That's that's one thing hard about these end game items. I always get them and then I get in the pack and I'm like, I never even got a chance to use them. And that's why I saved like the Gaia and these other bosses. So at least I have a chance to use them, right? Okay, let's try updating this guy again. Sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. All right, there's the planet eater. Nice. It would have been amazing if they could have had like some kind of 
just like a million blocks you had to dig through. And the only way to like really get through it was to have one of these super fast things that would just like, and you get reach the surface or something. That would have been like a better like end game of, hey, I've got all this amazing stuff now. Whew, okay, so we take all that and we just throw it all away and say, good job, good job, good job. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for doing so. We'll keep that. Cool. <laughs> all right, let's, oops, we just got all of them once. Anything good? Nope. No quest rewards matter at the end of the game. Why, don't, why even have them, right? What's left? Botania. Let's go kill the guardian. I've already killed uh, the basic guardian because she's boring. Um, so we can kill the better guardian. So we're going to need our Gaia spirits and our Terra Steel. Do I have that here? No. Go up here. Remember all that Terra Steel I made and we never used? Look, I have a reason to have it now. Okay. So if we take four, no, one Terra Steel and four Gaia spirits here. We get a Gaia Spirit ingot, okay? Now I got eight of these, um, but I did use one. What did I use the one for? Oh, it was to make the Gaia Spreader. That was just for a quest, just to finish this quest off here. But that completes that one. Now we just need to go kill Gaia 2. Oh, I got one of these junk, junk blocks again here. Um, with that guy there. And I should have that all set up and ready to go in the nether. I just needed a big open space and we happen to have a big open space right here. So uh, to fight the Gaia, you need to make a, a beacon. It just needs to be one tall. So nine iron with a beacon on top. And there's a, um, a visualization in the book where it tells you where to put these Gaia pylons. And that is pretty much it. Then uh, when you click a Terra Steel to summon Gaia one, it will tell you if there's stuff in the way. So I did have to clear out a few more blocks to make this thing big enough. Uh, and then when we start her, it's going to create an arena that we, if we, if we leave, it ends it there. So we don't want to leave the area. Uh, and I think other than having the sword of the cosmos ready, the only other thing I really care about is my pet, uh, archmage's smite. Um, so yeah, we do this shift click. So I think I can just V mode this. <laughs> oh, where'd she go? <laughs> What the heck? Okay, so you can see she's taking so much damage. Um, let's actually turn this off. I want to hit her once with the Sword of the Cosmos. Where'd she go? There she is. It's actually me, which is the funny part. Oh, this thing doesn't do a ton of damage. This purple stuff on the ground would normally hurt you, but not with the armor. I mean, even with the other armor, the Project E stuff was fine. Alright, so now she goes in the second state. He, I guess, if it's me. Uh, he's going to summon a bunch of mobs. Again, we can just... Oh, these are going to be elites, so they might be a little more challenging. Um, actually... I love how it fires even when I'm not selecting it here. Uh, let me get the guitar for this one, because I can just go... Boom, you're all dead. Holy crap, look at all the arrows she has around her. Play all mode. <laughs> she's got a cocoon. <laughs> and she's dead. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, that was so awesome. As soon as as soon as she came out, the arrows just all went poof and she died. Okay, did I get my stuff? So I got a ton more Gaia spirits so we can summon her again. The biggest thing is this uh, dice of fate. Uh, this is gonna get us a random um, Thing. So let me get all this junk out of here. Let's keep the tear still in case we want to summon her again. Uh, there's some of these uh, shader grab bags, which just shade stuff from immersive engineering, give you like cool colors. I did get the pinkinator. Oh, that's a rare drop. Sweet. Okay, so let's see what we get from our dice of fate. It's gonna be one of a couple relics. Uh, we got the key of the king's law. I don't remember what that one does, actually. Um, so if we get our botania, oh, we don't have it. Uh, let's kill her one more time. That was just too much fun. 
Um, way too much fun. Yeah, screw the sword. <laughs> and I can... Oh, she goes, like, up and just destroys the ceiling. Oh, like Pikmin might want to get involved. You guys... Siri Pikmin, I'm fighting a boss here. Come on. Alright, phase two. Should be any time. Now we'll just cocoon her in arrows. <laughs> and whenever the mobs come out, they're dead. The guitar. That's like the special X mode, or I've bound it to X, I don't know what the actual normal button is. Oh, we're getting a little, okay, let's turn that off, that's too many. There are too many items. <laughs> too many arrows in the air. She's summoned a lot more mo or, uh, guys this time, it seems. Come on, just die. Bang, you're dead. <gasps> oh, she didn't die. Okay, I've got so much stuff again that I probably didn't even pick up the stuff I need. Don't tell me we didn't get it. Oh, no, there it is. I see it. Oh, it gives you lots of nice relics as well. All right, so this one gave us the Ring of Thor. Oh yeah, that one's amazing. Uh, so we come over here to our ring slot. I'm gonna go and take off my mana band and put the Ring of Thor on there. Maybe not, I thought this one gave us hearts. Uh, did I need to activate it maybe? Oops, wrong. No, that's just put it in on. Who knows? I'm sure you guys do, but um, yeah, that's probably enough. We've we've fought, we killed her. So we need to look up what this key does. Does that open something, or does that just give us something? I don't know. And I'd like to fight the wither. <laughs> so let's let's head down here. Oh, you can see, I've got a train track. That took forever to build. Building gadgets, amazing. Amazingly helpful with that. All right, uh, no, actually, my nether fighter room is, no, let's just go this way, it's fine. Oh, I fly so fast with this armor on. <laughs> I can't even load the chunks in time. All right, uh, let's fight the wither in here. This will be fun. Yeah, like right here. Okay. Um, I'll do that. Let me just throw the stuff I don't need in here. No, I need that. I'll keep the sword. Yeah, I don't need any AoE damage. Okay. You and you. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, uh, some soul sand. Not five, but it's fine. Uh, some... Um, Skulls, not head, not heads, wither skulls. Okay, so uh, let's build them right here. Go out of the way. I have never used the pink and on him, I don't think. Oh, are you kidding me? Like, who put you there? I move too fast. Did he just like summon immediately? Ah, there he is, he's pink. Look, he's happy. He loves me. <laughs> Look, he's so happy. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> I didn't get anything. What? You just get an epic shader grab bag, that's it? Where's my magnet? Yeah, nothing. Wow, okay. So yeah, if you're looking for Good, good drops from him, then don't go with Pinkinator. Okay, so let's, uh, we were gonna fight, oh yeah, we gotta do the Ars Nouveau stuff. So we can finish this guy, 
Um, let's head back. Why did I get the philosopher's stone? I needed my charged porter. That one. Uh, home. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go up to... Oh, I did get some redstone flux cells. Wonderful. So up to Britannia. And look at my new book entries. So if we look at... Uh, the key of the king's law. Uh, ability to materialize weapons from thin air. Holding down right click with this key will begin summoning glowing projectiles. Wow, that's cool. 20 projectiles can be created at once, <laughs> releasing the grip of the launch them one at a time. Wow, this is awesome. I don't know why it's all messed up with the stuff, but we're going to definitely use that on uh, the Chimera. Um, okay, and the other one was the Ring of Thor. Uh, when equipped, it dramatically increases Terra Shatter's area of effect. Okay, so there is a weapon, um, or a, a hammer, basically, um, from Batania, and it would just make it better. So that was actually one of the weaker ones. Cool. So you can go back in there. Um, yeah, you can go in there. Okay. How much damage does this do? 12. What? <laughs> Uh, we could probably enchant it. Should we enchant it? Oh, I took down the enchanting setup. Yeah, I took it all down. Okay, nope, we're not going to enchant it. So, yeah, I it probably has some special modes that I'm not aware of. I'm just going to keep the guitar out. Uh, and we're going to try using this key. Sweet. Okay. So then the last thing to do then is going to be um, to get a familiar first, and then we're going to fight the chimera. So for the familiar, um, we're going to need the, uh, the binding, not the binding, the pillar. Oh, what is it called? Um, this one, the ritual brazier. We're going to need a chest uh, with stuff in it. That's a potion melder. OK, so let's go over here. Where? No, it's right here. It should be right here. There's one. OK. Um, so we can put that right there. Now we're going to need to craft something. Um, it's going to be which which one we want to bind. So we can look at the quest and it's going to say, oh no, actually we just need this. Um, which we don't have. We actually are missing stuff. I need to get mage blooms first. So that is enchanting four source gems with any kind of seed. So one, two, three, four, and a seed. Let's make him a tomato. Sure. So tomato goes in a... No pedestals? Okay, well, whatever. Maybe we just have to add that last. There we go. I really want to do more with this mod. It's really powerful and we didn't get to get too much into it. But, hey, we'll, we'll try it out soon enough. Okay, so that gives us the Mage Bloom Seed. Um, then I should have... Let's nope down this way. Get a quick little base tour. Um, we can. Oh, I don't have a uh, even thing anymore. What's over? I'm gonna put it right there. And you know what? We should use our our. Oh, what is that thing called? The thing we never used the entire game. It was in miscellaneous. This one. The time in the pouch. We like tried to get this so hard, and by the time we got it, we. Where is my time in a pouch? Is it in my bag? There it is. So I should be able to just make this stuff grow really fast. Oh, this stuff. Oh, this stuff sucks. Okay. Never mind. You're coming in. Yeah, here's fine. All that hemp I had there. Okay. You're going to speed up really fast. There we go. That's fast enough. <laughs> Okay, so we get like, should be good. Okay, put that back in there, sure. Don't need that anymore or any of that. Um, so this stuff now converts to mage flower or mage bloom fiber, sorry. And that will make a blank parchment. Okay, so that's one other thing that we need. Um, 
for this. And then we still need a vexing archwood log. And I think I have a vexing sapling. I just happen to have one. And we can put that in here. And we'll speed it up. There we go. Cool. It's fast enough. I'm happy with you. I think it adds something behind it, actually speeding it up. Okay, so now we can get the tablet of binding. There we go. And now we need to put this on the uh, brazier with a source block next to it with a mob. One of the Ars Nouveau mob, uh, passive mobs. So can I get a mob? There, that thing. Imprisonment tool. I think this will work for good and bad ones. I don't remember. Um, so our choices here, we got a Drigme or a Whirly thingy. Let's take the Whirly. Whirly Sprig. Okay, so we put that down now right there and go bind. She's like, no, no, no. Come back. Waiting activation. There we go. I didn't activate it. There we go. <laughs> I turned her into a parchment. Cool. Um, so that finish should finish off the quest, right? Yes, it does. So now we have a pet. Um, I think we have to actually make a spell to actually be able to summon our familiar, which stinks. Um, so then the only other thing we'd need is uh, to fight the Chimera because we need this Wilden Tribute. Um, so let's go in our book. For ours, it's the worn journal, right? Oh, where did I put that? Probably in my backpack. That one. Okay, don't need you or you. Probably don't need you anymore. Okay. So in here we can look at, um, oh, it's opened up a few new things, but rituals. One of these is the Tablet of Summon Wilden. Uh, and we need to make this one. So let's get that real quick. There it is. Okay. Now, normally, this will just summon a bunch of Wilden mobs, right? Not actual Chimeras. Um, and we can read that in the book. It says, if you want to summon the actual Chimera, you need a spike, a horn, and a wing. So we have all those. So wing, horn, spike. I don't know if you need to put them in the right way, but we will, just in case. Okay, and I don't want to do it here because it does say it is destructive, kind of like the other bosses we've fought. Uh, I need a pickaxe. Put my pickaxe away. Where did I put? I upgraded my pick. It's now it's now another color. This one. <laughs> I was looking for a red matter one. Um, sure, we'll put the same. Oops. Oh yeah, we don't need that. Don't need that. We'll do that this oh this thing is fast and <laughs> you cannot turn it down <laughs> be careful all right uh, I think we've got a, an arena to fight him um, actually let's fight him in the end oops that was not the end that was home that's the end okay Oh, got my train track here. Um, do I have a big area, open area? Oh no, I didn't make a big open area here. Okay, well, let's make one real quick. Where's big boy? There he is. Let's go down here, out of the way of our train track, because our train track is that way, so let's go this way. Um, actually, <laughs> boom, boom. Boom, boom. I've got it on like small tunnel, so it's mining 64 blocks, and this thing is like instant. Oop, I just mined to the mine to the bedrock. Okay. Let's go fight this guy down here then. Um so put a source jar, a ritual brazier, brazier. 
uh, where can I, I don't want all this junk in here. Where's my tablet? I can never find things. I probably have too much in my backpack there. Oh, this is a fluid one. Why don't I, I don't want a fluid one. Oh, it's right on me. It's right here. No wonder I couldn't find it. Okay. Um, so that goes here and then we take the spike. We just throw it on. I think so. Okay. And then we, the horn and the wing, and then we activate it. Oh, hello, Enderman. Where's my weapons? I'm supposed to be summoning weapons here. Whoa, big boy. You got little dogs with you, huh? I don't know, this doesn't seem to be doing anything. Well. <laughs> oh, I thought that killed him in one hit. Oh, he does a lot of regening. Oh, maybe I did kill him. Maybe he's got phase two. Oh, he's spiky. Oh, he's spiky. But I got these. Oh, um, okay. It's just avoid him. Do the whole avoid thing. Wait till he comes out and then kill him again. Now he's going to phase three. Yeah, with this sword, it's he's not... Um, he doesn't know that Project E exists. <laughs> but this sword has auto-kill because they should have, like, disabled the auto-kill from him. Whoa. All right, now he dies. We get the... Wilden Tribute, uh, Clay, Loot Crate, Epic Shader. Let's open one of these just to see what it has in here. The Usurper Shader can be applied to a balloon. I have a balloon. Let's apply it to a balloon. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Can you guys just, what are you doing? Like dancing with me? All right, so let's put a bunch of stuff away. This thing didn't seem to do much. I don't know what it was supposed to do. It said it summoned weapons when you hold down right click and it didn't. All right, teleporting home. Nope, that's the nether, that's home. Oops, uh, you don't belong on three anymore. Um, you can actually go there. I don't need you. So to craft the Wilden Tribute final Archmage spellbook, uh, we need our our original spellbook, all this stuff. So the Totem of Dying, we have one that we have tons of those. There we go. There's another chapter done. So the only thing we have left is take a train ride. Let's do it. I don't need any of this. Okay, we're just we're we're gonna we're gonna just put everything down. Yeah, we're going with it. empty inventory. So I've already made the train track because that it was three two and a, what twenty five hundred blocks of train track. Um, we had this auto crafted for a singularity, so we had plenty of it. Um, but let's uh, talk about how to do it. So the first thing to do is you're gonna get this train station. You're gonna take the train station and click on the track. Okay. Then when you come here and you say, I want to create a new train. And it says, okay, use a train casing. Okay, we'll get a train casing. And that just needs to go on the blue and that creates your kind of your base. And now you can build pretty much anything you want onto this. So I'm a, I am simple, I mean, that's probably the smallest really you can go, but if you wanted to build it bigger, you could. Um, I've got extra blocks, so let's just make it <laughs> a little uh, cannon. It's, it's a cannon, okay? Uh, then I need somewhere to sit, so I'm gonna put that right there, and then I need some kind of controls, so I'll put right there, okay? Then we need to glue this whole thing together. Um, and I actually already have glue from before, so let's get rid of it. Um, you need to select the uh, like a, an area, so I can select this one, and I can go right to there. No, I guess I can't. All right, so do that, and that. All right, so everything aside from the actual carriage is now glued together, so that will be uh, and that's the minimum you need. You need a controller, a seat, and just a few blocks. So we should be able to say, assemble the train, and there we go, it's built it for us. Okay, this is it. This is all we need. Let's get in this train. 
Uh, to take control, I mean, this can be controlled by a parrot or a blaze uh, burner, <laughs> is, is what I watched from a video. But if I right click here, I'm now in control and I'm controlling the unnamed train. And I just hit hold down forward and it's going to increase my speed. Um, there's nothing you, when you're controlling yourself, there's nothing you can do to make it go faster, as far as I can tell. Um, if it's like controlled by a mob, you can put uh, a burner in it and it'll make it go faster. But here we go. Uh, I don't know how it's detecting that we've gone through every biome, right? Oh, I'm going to smack my head here. Boom! <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, so I guess we're going to read it, and we're going super fast. We're already into the, uh, or past the lush dungeon. We'll be in the nether fairly soon. I just want to take a time to thank you guys for watching this whole series. I know we had a few issues. We lost some footage. I lost some sound. Uh, we had some lag. We had some issues, but it was so much fun to be back playing Minecraft again. It's really rekindled my love for this game and love for making videos. So uh, looking forward to finding a new pack to play. Uh, I am... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Well... That was so embarrassing. <laughs> I don't even have train tracks on me. Because I was fighting this and it was right through. Oh my gosh. Put an F in the comments. Okay, so how do I delete this thing? I think if I take this guy and I can say pick this up and is this too far away oh nope you can't locate this far away I think we have to drive all the way back um, but I would like to turn it around so I think I need to sit here there we go so if you turn it'll go that way Oh my goodness. All right, we need to go get train track. We need to fly all the way back down here, build the train track, then get back in the train and drive it. How does it know what biomes I've, I've driven through? I feel like this is a, um, like a troll quest. Like it's not gonna give us credit, <laughs> but maybe it's got some way to know. I don't know what the FTB team can handle. As I was saying, Thank you guys for watching this. I look forward to finding a new pack to play. Um, I haven't decided yet, uh, though I have like two or three in mind. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for being subscribers. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, you should, right? And uh, let's get this done. I'm probably just going to roll some end credits as we drive this train all the way down to the end and pass to the Mother Silverfish. <sighs> so fail. All right, where do I have my train tracks? I think I put them all away is the sad part. Oh no, and I might have turned them all into singularities. Oh no. Okay, I don't need that many. I don't need that many. This should make them fairly quick. Nope, it's broken. It broke. Awesome mix Julian fries. It won't break. It broke. Uh, let me go in game, please. What is wrong with you? Yeah, this happens periodically. One thing these depots do is sometimes they just throw things into the air, and it just yeah, it was kind of a. Not the best system I made, but it worked. It produced all our singularities that we needed. And that's probably plenty. Okay. Let's go back to the nether. And so if you right click on an existing track, you can see you can drive these uh, quite far. And so that's a great way to place that many really fast. 
Um, I was using building gadgets and I didn't figure that out till like the last 500 blocks. <laughs> I was watching a video on how to make the train. I was figured like, while I'm placing blocks, I should figure out how to make a train. And he's like, oh, you just right click on an existing train track and it will do that for you. Why am I, why am I not just teleporting home? We have this thing called teleporting. We're playing a um, modded Minecraft function. Yeah. This time we won't throw everything away. Keep a few things we might need. Need you for sure. So turn this train around. Don't make me turn this train around. <laughs> so I will. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Full steam forward. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Here we go. Cue outro music. See you guys later. Thanks for the series. Ah, oh, that feels good. All green. <laughs>